And the Joint Health Sector Union, Johesu, has given the federal government a one-week ultimatum to meet up to several demands of the union, else it will revert to a seven-day warning strike in all federal medical centers across the country. The national president of Johesu, Josiah Baibe Lemoye, accused the federal government of being insensitive to the plight of Nigerian workers, especially in the light of the recent increase of the cost of premium motor spirits, PMS, and the increase in electricity tariff across the country and the introduction of stamp duties in the nation's housing sector. Johesu condemns the insensitive deregulation of fuel price fuel prices, the introduction of stamp duties to be paid to Federal Inland Revenue Services, FIRS, by tenants in properties and the hike in the electricity tariff, which all combine to bring further hardship and depression to the doorsteps of citizens. Demands immediate payment of the shortfall of COVID-19 allowances to health workers in FHIs, while states and LGs develop a framework to cater for their health workers. Unconditional payment of all withheld salaries at FMC Oweri, Jute, Lute, and the complements of April and May 2018 salaries vindictively orchestrated by Professor Isaac Adewole, the former Minister of Health. In the event that the five demands, five major demands and they, they are attendant sub-demands are not met by the federal government. By midnight of September 13th, 2020, Joesu will commence a nationwide seven days warning strike of our members in all FHIs.